What's up, YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in. Welcome to my first film breakdown. It is a lot of film, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, and today we're doing Terrell Pryor Sr. Right here, we have Terrell Pryor taking an outside release. RG3 throws a nine route. The ball is overthrown, so Terrell had to stretch out for it. He pretty much wanted the ball more than his opponent right here it is another nine route on one of the top premier cover corners in the league true fun um as we all know rg3 is pretty phenomenal throwing the deep ball um he places the ball on the inside shoulder of terrell and terrell he just you know being terrell prior you know using that athleticism and that body man that's just that was a great 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 throw right here we have a <laughs> another nine route so that's three nine routes in a row um terrell decides to take an outside release but he didn't leave his qb that much room to work with uh, a lot of coaches teach you to stack it but uh, luckily the ball was underthrown and terrell he had to make an adjustment and he wanted the ball more than nolan carroll Right here, we have the diamond. The play is a triple lead read option to real prior. He's getting out on the edge, using his athleticism, taking it back to his college days at Ohio State. This one is a play action bootleg rollout to the tight end. Um, you know, as I just said, taking it back to his college days, just giving the Miami Dolphins a different look so they can, you know, loosen up a bit. Right here we have Terrell Pryor taking an inside release. Uh, it was a scramble drill, so he works his way back to the quarterback to the sidelines for the first down. Newly signed kicker warming up on the sideline. Second and seven. Kessler letting a rip far side. He's got Pryor again. Their front four. Kessler now back. Taking the step. Locates Pryor. Pryor using that slashing ability gets inside Dolphins territory. We have Terrell Pryor in the shotgun. All it is is just a quarterback draw. Uh, the middle was clogged up, so Terrell Pryor had to take it to the outside for the touchdown. Right here, the Cleveland Browns decided to do a play action slant. Uh, the play action was to suck the linebackers out of the slant area. Terrell Pryor, he executed by doing a three-step outside release as if he's running a fade. And boom, one, two, three, boom. And he cut it right underneath. That's where the linebackers usually would be. But the play action worked effectively. Pryor lined up, bottom of your screen. This is third and two. Kessler, he lose the initial tackler. That pass is caught. Right here, we just have a back shoulder fade. Terrell Pryor does a good job of boxing Josh Norman out. And the quarterback does a phenomenal job by only placing the ball where his wide receiver can get it. Um, these two are going at it all day, as you will see in the next few clips. Right here, we have Terrell Pryor taking an inside release to the slant inside the numbers. He kind of gave it away by the way he lined up. Josh Norman extends his right hand, thinking that it was an outside release, but it wasn't. Uh, we have the quarterback pretty much throwing a comeback on this one. Terrell Pryor takes an outside release, so it's really one way that you can go from there. Um, Josh Norman played it pretty effectively. The only difference is Terrell Pryor pivoted instead of doing a chopping comeback. Right here we have the Redskins in cover one. Cleveland Browns offset that by doing a play action to suck up the linebackers. And it was a crossing route which pretty much picked off the defenders, which led to Terrell Pryor in the end zone. Here's Pryor, they make the cross from the other side, and he's just going to work his way through the linebackers and into that secondary. You see the play action fake, it freezes the linebackers. They actually double Terrell Pryor. Right here we have Terrell Pryor taking a normal release, uh, but it's a play action bootleg, so you know what's coming. Oh, that comeback. As a DB, I'm picking that off every time, at least I think. Trips right to Real Pryor is the point man. He takes an inside release. All he is running is just a simple smash concept to the corner or the back pylon, and he out jumps two defenders for the touchdown. Right here we have to Real Pryor just taking a normal release. Cody Kessler just throws a good, good back shoulder comeback. Not even a back shoulder comeback, but just a phenomenal ball. Terrell Pryor, um, as you seen and will see in this video, Terrell Pryor loves comebacks. Right there, he just big bodied them. This one is just a simple slant pattern. Uh, it's just a rub route. That's why it is so effective. You know, a lot of teams do it, especially the New England Patriots. Everybody see those guys uh, executed 
every game. Right here we have Terrell Pride versus Darrell Reeves. This one is his seven route. This route right here is unstoppable on Madden. If you have Madden, I'm sure you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. Third possession for the Browns, first and 10. Josh McCow getting by the rush of Richardson, feeding downfield, they got him! It's caught by Pryor. Right here we have Terrell Pryor taking the three-step outside, release, one, two, three, boom, and cuts it right underneath Darrell Reeves. He did the same thing to Byron Maxwell earlier. This is his bread and butter. This is his favorite one. He loves the one, two, three slants, and he loves the comebacks. Terrell Pryor runs a simple stop route. The running back do a flare out, so the linebacker has to chase that. Darrell Reeves was in a bell technique, so that is an easy completion. As always, just like this one, this one is just a simple smoke stop route. At this point, they were just playing with the rare Revis. Right here, we have Terrell Pryor at the top of the numbers. All he is running is a dagger route initially, but um, Cody Kessler, he has to scramble outside. So Terrell Pryor, he does a great job of adjusting his route um, and just having awareness. The rookie had no chance. The rookie didn't even know what he was doing. <laughs> right here. I can't stand Cowboys fans. Good catch by Terrell Pryor, securing the catch. And McCown fires, and that is caught. Pryor, he'll take it to the 41. Robert Griffin the third with a third down and six. Blocked by Thomas, up the middle it goes, and he's got the first down. This is the local kid, Terrell Pryor. By far, this was my favorite play of Terrell Pryor from the year. He runs a stop and go. But look how smooth he came out that break. Back in high school, our offensive coordinator, we used to call that one a yo-yo. How you fling the yo-yo down and just bring it back up. Great ball, great catch, great finish. RG3, he sure can throw that deep ball. He just can't stay healthy. Right here, Terrell Pryor takes an inside release. The New York Giants was in the cover one rock and roll robber. So pretty much they left that middle of the field wide open. No one helped. Eli Apple went to Real Pryor. He makes him pay. Right here we have the play action slants. This is Cleveland Browns, one of their favorite plays, uh, especially to Real Pryor. He loves the slants. Um, easy completion because the play action sucks up the linebacker. Right here we just have to Real Pryor taking the outside release on the fade route. Uh, just a back shoulder, underthrown ball. Pretty much 50 50. And you know to Real Pryor going to always win that one. It's the same thing with this one. Um, just a simple fade. Um, you're really not supposed to catch that, but he makes him pay. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Terrell Pryor's Film Breakdown. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I post a video. Also, follow me on all of my social media platforms at TTG for real. Way up.